Let's get into the tea, baby. What do with it, y'all? This is your subject craziness. I'm coming to you, 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 and you with another word on the street segment. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. So, baby, Carlos King done pulled Miss Shay Johnson, okay, on his couch to discuss what's going on in her life, okay? From Love and Hip Hop ATL on down to Love and Hip Hop Miami, bring it back the flavor of love and all the stuff in between, and how she, you know dealt with life after flavor of love and stuff like that and of course she talked about little beef she got with the ladies on married to me i about to say married to medicine damn uh love hip-hop miami <laughs> miami and you know the different problems or issues she had with this boyfriend of hers and stuff like that so we gonna touch on the whole how she said she the one who really brought scrappy on love and hip-hop don't get it twisted now don't have him thinking he the one head honcho bringing all these ladies on here. No, no, no. She's saying she is the one who got him on Love & Hip Hop. So let's take a listen. She was my manager at the time. She's the one that got me on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta. She knows Mona. Mona reached out to her like, hey, you know anybody in Atlanta might want to do this show? She's like, yeah, my girl Shay. So she's like, Shay, who do you want to go on the show with? They, they're looking for like couples. I was like, well, me and Scrap got a thing right now because I was in a relationship. Scrappy helped me out of it. A lot of people don't know that. That man is in jail for the rest of his life right now. But not for me, for another situation I care not to talk about. But he's all the time. So Scrappy helped me out of it. I had to literally move out my house immediately. He helped me move. He just helped me out of it. And um, we Financially and emotionally? Everything. He helped, he helped me with everything. Emotionally, financially, he just knew. One day I, I called him and I said he did it again. But this time he's seen it. He said, you got to get up out of there. So when I went back, he said, let's just go. We packed all the stuff up. Um, I moved out. And at this around the same time, not too long after I got out the situation, that's when he and Diamond kind of fell out because of Soldier Boy. So we were friends for years. No sex, no nothing. He was just my best friend. Like, because I could tell him anything and it didn't go anywhere to stay between us. I would travel with him. We went out the country together. There was no sex. We went to really? London, Switzerland, Amsterdam, so many. We were always together all the time. Like, it's easy for me. You don't have to have sex with, he was a friend. He was just a friend. Like, and sex wasn't involved. I felt like that would destroy what we had. But when I went through that vulnerable moment of that man, you know, he and Scrappy wasn't in the situation, I wasn't in the situation. I, I think it was the timing and we ended up having sex. So, you know, because of that, we started seeing each other and I was naive in a lot of things. And I ended up asking him, you know, what do you think about doing Love and Hip Hop with me? He said, yeah, and the rest is history. Yeah. Was he already on Love and Hip Hop? No. Scrappy did not get on Love and Hip Hop until I asked him to come on the show with me. I am the one that got Scrappy on Love and Hip Hop. Scrappy did not get on Love and Hip Hop until I asked him to come on the show with me. I am the one that got Scrappy on Love and Hip Hop. Mona did not call Scrappy and say, hey, you want to do this show? I, my manager, Amina, told Mona, like, hey, Shay been messing around with Scrappy. They got a thing going on. You know, she want to do the show with him. What I didn't know was he was bringing Erica, Mama D, and every, you know. Shay Johnson. No I know. You know how I found out that <coughs> Erica was on the show? When I seen the release, they wouldn't allow me come to the party. You know how they have the release party mm -hmm. in, in the beginning, the viewing party of the first episode, and I wasn't allowed to come. And I'm like, well, why is my, keep in mind, I didn't understand the format of this reality show. This is totally different from Flavor of Love, Charm School, I Love Money. We did that three, four weeks and we was done. This is different. So I'm like, how is it I've been filming with this man and I'm not able to come? I don't understand that. I found out why, you know, a lot of things hit me when I watched the show. Like, oh, he brought his baby mama on, who you told me you weren't with, who you just got a friendship with and you're just co-parenting with. So then they started filming Love and Hip Hop 
And um, he would call me like during or after like the filming. That was the type of relationship we had, right? So, so he, so it's funny because I work season one. I know. So yeah, he's filming with Erica. Mm-hmm. Um, that's his child's mother, right. and they're trying to figure things out, and they were living together. Yeah, yeah. I'm about to move up out of here. I'm about to move in with my baby mama. Um, and so I get my stuff together and, you know, we're about to start doing love and hip hop. And I was like, wait, wait, what? <laughs> what is happening? So you brought her on and then she ended up being the main character. And I'm like, hold on now. I, I came on this show and brought you, but he said, he said, allegedly the agreement was she would take him off child support if he put her in a position on the show to make money. Because he was telling me, he was like, no, nah, we just get a bag. Like, you know what I'm saying? Whatever, I'm just trying to help her get some money so she can stay out of my pockets, you know, whatever. But she didn't know about me either. She didn't know nothing about me. All I knew was that was his child's mother. That's it. So it was, it was, he was a man playing his little manly games back then. So I have, I, I never knew that. Ask him. Well, Scrappy has Ask him. <laughs> you can't lie. He's actually is Scrappy, I have had you on my show twice, brother. Do I need to invite <laughs> you for a third time? He, he will admit it. He will admit it. So like, you, wait, I, and I'm being honest. When I got the gig to work with Mona on Love & Hip Hop Atlanta, I started when Erica Dixon and Scrappy were in the mix and, and Mona assigned me to this work was with at, Diamond. This was before the proposal or after? This was first, you talking about the first episode, first season? The first season. Okay, keep going. Cause that's some bullshit. Is it? It is. <laughs> it is, sweetheart. Sorry to bust your bubble. Now, <coughs> once I asked him to do it, he definitely, he used to work with Mona back in the day. Yeah. So why she never asked him I don't know. I don't care. That's not my place to figure that out. All I know is when she asked my manager who she's like this with, Amina, Amina gave her me and said, I'm dating Scrappy. Maybe because she knew like, hmm, maybe he was dating his baby mama still. I don't know. All yeah. I know is what happened with him and Diamond. He ended up, you know, they broke up or whatever. He and I started dating. They asked me to do the show and I said, yeah, this is who I'm dating right now. So I brought him on the show and that was it. Wow. Okay, so oh, were you aware of Bambi at this time? She was nowhere around. I didn't. I didn't know her. I wasn't yeah. associated with her. I knew nothing about her. As far as I'm concerned, as far as Bambi, I seen her at the. I think it was season two when we did another release party, and I seen that she was trying to come up to the VIP section. For some reason, they wouldn't let her, but you know, it's real sneaky when it comes to, they want to keep certain people separated. So maybe something could have been going on then. Okay. So during that time, um, I think maybe towards the end of the season, he, me and him started getting like a little closer, right? He started really, really liking me. And I liked him too. Like I did like him a lot because he was just really fun. <laughs> Um, so he introduced me to like Steph and Mona one time. We were hanging out on Peter Peter Street. Mm -hmm. That's and where the office was. Yeah, yeah. So he's like, you know, um, I want to do some stuff with her. Blah blah blah. Whatever, whatever. I knew nothing about her when he was in rehab. He was talking to me. Ain't no telling. He was talking to his baby mama. He was talking to probably five different women. Who knows? I don't know. You know, he was like all of our boyfriend. But I was still dealing with him at that time. Um, but I did know that. Erica and Scrappy separated as far as the proposal because of Bambi. I was told that a while ago. So allegedly, I guess Bambi would, listen, I guess she was, you know, dealing with Scrappy, but Scrappy was telling everybody different stories. So I'm sure he was telling Bambi one thing, Erica another thing, me another thing, and then here comes Diamond. Like it's, this is what he does. He says one thing and he kind of does the next. He's a hopeless romantic. He's a hopeless romantic. He is. Were you in love with Scrappy? At one point, yeah. Absolutely. He's not a bad guy. He's just, what man don't cheat? <laughs> Mine don't. Mine don't. And if he know if he do, oh, it's going to be some problems up in this piece. 
I mean, I mean, all it's, black men don't <laughs> cheat. <laughs> I just said people. It's it's to me. It's it's timing. You go through your life and your stages of you know running around messing with this person, that person, and one at one point in your life, you want to have a committed relationship. You understand life, and you find that one person you want to have spend the rest of your life with. You know, that's that's what I'm looking for. That's what I want. So at that time, he was all over the place. I didn't even know he was going to propose to Erica until he proposed to Erica. I was just with him sexually not too long before that proposal, maybe a week. The proposal at on the, the reunion. On the reunion, yeah. I, didn't, I broke down. I remember I broke being down. there, and when you were, like, leaving the stage, and if people cut back to that moment... You're watching the monitors, Shay, and you saw when Scrappy was proposing to Erica, mm -hmm. and you 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 stared at the monitor, mm -hmm. and then yeah. you just walked away. I walked away. I walked up the stairs. I walked out that door because I didn't want the cameras to see me, and I fell on the floor. <laughs> I fell out on the floor, and I started just boo-hoo crying because it hurt my little feelings. I called my mom, and he actually started blowing me up that night. Calling, calling, calling. I wouldn't answer the phone. I changed my number that night. He started calling, calling, calling. Not too long after that, he reached out, found me through a mutual friend, like, tell her I just need to talk to her, some, some, some. Of course, here I am. Hey, what's going on? He poured his heart out to me. We met up. He poured his heart out to have the tears and everything. I'm sorry. He actually told me, love and hip hop, pay for the ring. I told Erica this. Like, me and Erica had a really good conversation. We act on camera. We had a really good conversation, and we talked about a lot of different things. There's no beef, no drama. Yeah, I think she's actually a cool girl. I she do. is. So, um, but I, I told her. He told me that love and hip hop paid for the ring, and and she was like, oh, that little cheap ass ring, <laughs> Erica. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, girl. So, Erica, um, did you get it appraised? And he, said he got he got paid a bonus to do that. It was it's a lot that going behind the scenes that the world would probably never know about but that that happened that was his way of telling me look i did it for the show i really love you but he tell everybody the same thing he was he was telling me that and ain't no telling what he was telling everybody else and then all of a sudden he started dating bambi so i'm like okay you know i went and mind my business and kind of went on with my business and then they broke up he came down to miami and did the show with me in miami um second season love and hip hop miami. of miami yeah second season and, and were you guys smashing at that time um yeah we definitely were we definitely were and that's because i when it comes to relationships with me i want it to be true i want the things you, that you tell me to be true because i want to be in love i want that family dynamic you know that's just how i've always been i want the the romantic wedding the the fairy tale wedding that's just how i always been so he was my best friend at one point, which became my lover. Mm -hmm. So I wanted the things that he told me to be true, but it was all bullshit. It was all. It was a lot of bullshit in that. When did you finally decide to break things up with Scrappy? It's been, it was on and off for years, so it was a lot of, you know, moments where it was just like, I'm done. I don't want to have nothing to say to him. My, my manager knows she's been around and seen me cry and break down Jen. She's been telling me to leave that situation alone. I just didn't listen. Because sometimes when you're on the outside looking in, you see a different view of the situation. When you're in it, love is blind. And a lot of times you allow yourself to be blind when the truth is right there. But when after the, the show we did in Miami, season two, Love and Hip Hop, and he abruptly just quit. He was filming with me for like maybe half of the show, and then he just stopped. He didn't even come to the reunion for me. And he said, because he heard I was messing around with Pleasure P. And I'm like, come on, I told you what that situation was. But that's when he went with his camera, where's the bam, where's the bam, doing all that. And I was like, ah, peace, I'm done. So when he did find the bam. I was, I was done. He did that as a result of you allegedly being with Pleasure P he, at the it, time. He, we had a conversation after all that had happened. We had a conversation and he told me, he said, that, you know, I felt like you was with pleasure and you didn't tell me and I felt some type of way about that. And I'm like, I understand, but you've done so much dirt. Like our communication should be better than this. But it's just weird that out of nowhere, when you were just in Miami doing scenes with me and yes, we were sexually active. Then all of a sudden you went on your camera doing whatever you were doing. So I'm like, you know what? I wish you well and I left it alone because what I'm, I don't want to be in the middle of nobody's relationship. I'm never nobody's side piece. I'm not, I'm not I don't want to have nothing to do with that. So if, if that's your choice, go ahead. But if I was to call that man right now, I'm gonna leave it at that. 
and I have no intentions on. I have I have nothing but love for Scrappy. I wish him well. I think he 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 has showed me a lot. He's been there for me with too many different situations for me to have anything negative to say about him. Especially the situation when that man was was beating on me. Mm -hmm. That's the main reason why I just feel like I have this, you know, connection with him that I just appreciate you. You know, because when nobody was there, he was there. 